Hello, this is uh, Warmerth8567, and we're back with another episode. And, well, you can see it's Goop Troop, and it's second stage. I call it the village, but it's in ruins. After our sad battle last time, let's go and see what we can get from picking up some barrels. Oh, there's some cherries. That's always good. One heart. I'll take a heart. Holy smoke, what they done to my farm? I wish Pirate Pete had stayed in that whale. Uh, Keyhole, not pirate, you ding dong. Oh well. Let's move quickly th for this part because you do not want statues to start firing. And by the way, make sure you kick that block up before you click kick this to the right, or you will miss and you'll have to reset the puzzle. To reset, you just leave the screen, come back. Ah, da, da, watch out for those fireballs. And there we go. For that screen, once you hit the panel, got a block in the panel, they'll stop firing. There's puzzles later, they won't do that. And they're just gonna smack some of these guys, get them away. I think we're supposed to go right, but I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go north just to make sure, and yeah, we were supposed to go right. Well, meanwhile, I'm gonna wait for you, and ding. Another continue gem. I can always use another one of those, you know, I probably won't need them. You might. And we'll take him out. Take him out, and you out. And by the way, that enemy right there that just kicked that block is called Rob. It's a harder version of the enemies we saw in level 1. Notice that these guys can actually kick the blocks now, which can cause problems in some puzzles. These guys, though, who just got grappled right off into the water, I forget what the names are, but they can't swim. And the other guy just gets swiped out. He can actually throw his cutlass at you. And we got another grappling hook. I'll take the continue. Make sure you hold Y. Don't press Y. It doesn't go all the way. So that's a continue and that's a key. Two easily done things. We go here and down. Hit. Ooh, banana. Too bad I'm not Donkey Kong. I wouldn't call that a hint for my next Let's Play yet. Well, let's play walk through whatever. I'm gonna go around knees, and we're gonna go and I'm just gonna see if we get anything good. Yeah, we got a cherry. I'll take a cherry. This room, quite easy if you have a grappling hook. If you don't have one, go back one room and pick that one up, because what are you doing? And there we go. Easily cleared room. You can also try to get around them, but... I do it the hard way. Okay, this is where things get annoying. Because they can kick these blocks. These blocks are timed. They will explode. Now, you can also involve them in the explosion. As you see, I'm trying to get his attention so he'll... Hmm, I can... Yes, that worked. Okay, good. You see, that one just exploded. Well, those two just exploded. Now three. Shoot! Okay, push it back. It's going to take forever, so I'm just going to go and throw this at you. Away, good sir. This room isn't too bad, just get him in a stun and push him off. This guy can be hit from behind the trees, he doesn't see you, and we just take him out Cena style. And now we just got this little rope bridge to make. And yeah, that does cost you a grappling hook, but as you can see, we just got another. So we just restocked ourselves, and this room can get annoying. Because you gotta make sure they don't kick a block where you don't want it. If they do, you just cost yourself the puzzle. And have to reset and deal with them again. So I'm gonna kick this this way. Kick you down. And we'll kick this. This is where the puzzles start to kick in. I mean, they're not very hard at first, but they get a little harder as we go along. And we're just gonna kick this on to here, and we're out. Not too bad, just avoid the robs. Oh, great cannons. Ow! Oh, well, I'll take the invincibility frames and get out of here. Okay, this room, we just go and we... You're supposed to take out these enemies, and if you need a grappling hook... You'll grab it. And that's the cutlass in action there. Luckily, I don't need them. I'm just gonna go and beat these guys, and that's how you clear the room. 
Knowing my luck, I'm gonna need that room, and I'm gonna come back. <sighs> well, either way, you stand in front of the cannon, let it fire, and then hit it back at him. It's all you have to do. Easily taken out can. Plus, the other one can hit. Friendly fire is on for the cannons, too, by the way, so feel free to just let the cannons hit each other. And if you need it, here's the digging spot. You know what you can do. And, yeah, right in the middle, here's the key. We're close to the end. I can feel it. We're gonna kick that, and grab the life. Kick that, and that. We're just one away from full. Kick this over. Kick that up. And I'm an idiot. I do need that grappling hook. So we gotta go take a short walk and go get it. Yay! Good me! At least it's not a bad thing. I probably deserve to get hit by one of these guys right now after what I did. Now watch, because I said that something's going to happen, I am going to get hit. Well, I got lucky. The way we're going to head right back over now. But so far, so good. Still doing well. Almost done with this level. And this is probably going to be the last level that's under 10 minutes for this game, because the next ones start to get longer. Well, this one got longer with the last one, but I mean, we're going to be seeing over 10 minute levels now. Starting the next round. Well, somehow I get lucky. Oh, and these guys are annoying! You can see when they see you, they'll ball up and try to hit you. Lucky me. That's what happens, by the way, if you have nine lives. I shouldn't even grab that. Smart move. Me. But yeah, when you get nine lives and you grab another extra life, your hearts will fill up. That's all. That's what happens. You grab another one, nothing happens. Now you see what happens when you have max lives. And meet Firebug. Ah, fast! It gets hot in the tropics. Think fast! Okay. Oh god, this guy is not too bad, but don't let him hit you. It's very easy. Just take these and throw. Get your opportunities and throw at them. Oh, we're out of barrels. Hold your arms up, because guess who's coming to help? That was stupid of me! Get away, get away! Oh, and if you go up top, he will do that. But it can be a strategy if you can hit him. And then duck out of the way. Keeping your distance will win against the sky, and timing is important. Like that is not good timing. I tried to myself. Good job, me. Run up, hit you, run around his back, because he's busy doing that attack. He won't come up until he's done with that attack. Hit you again. You're in my face. And I got hit trying to get a barrel. Good job. Okay, that was just pathetic. Okay, there we go, done. Stage over. A stupid hit at the end, leaving me with five, but it's not terrible. Seven minutes, so yeah, pretty good time on the stage. Next stage will be stage three. Of course. Hey, Dad, could this be the Pirate Fortress? Gosh, son, I don't know. Let's knock on the door and ask. I don't think they're going to let you do that. But next time, we're going into the Haunted Mansion on Goof Troop. Hope you had fun. See you on the next one.